Hey everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. And so for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious roasted tomotillo salsa. And so I actually got this recipe from Aron Sanchez. He did an episode with Selena on Selena Plus Chef. And so when I saw them making this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely delicious. I have to make it. So I ran to the store and got the ingredients. And so that is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so you will need about a pound and a half of tomatillos, a bulb of garlic, a medium-sized onion, a bundle of cilantro, and your serrano peppers. Okay, so we are going to start off by prepping all of our tomatillos, and so we're going to just remove the husk off of all of our tomatillos. It's pretty simple. It's basically just like removing a leaf off of something. <laughs> I like removing the husk off of the tamale. And so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do that with all of my um, tomatillos. Okay, and you want to go ahead and give all of your veggies a good, nice wash and rinse just because the husk leaves like a sticky dirty residue all over your tomatillos and so you just want to make sure you get rid of all of that and just um, pat it dry all right and so now i'm just going to go ahead and start roughly um, chopping up all of my veggies it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to eventually blend them you just want to make sure they're at least all um, same size so that they roast evenly basically and so the smaller ones i'm cutting them into about quarters and the bigger ones i'm cutting them in um to about like five or six um slices so it just depends on how big or small your tomatillos are and next we are going to prepare our serrano peppers by just cutting off the stem and depending on your level of spiciness you can add more add less you can take some of the seeds out if you want because that's where the heat is from so it's completely up to you um however your heat level is and I'm just going to throw them on a baking sheet that's lined with some foil. Okay, next we are going to start off with our onion. And again, we're just going to roughly chop it. So we're just doing a lot of prepping right now. And so I'm just cutting it in half and then cutting that half into half and then cutting them into quarters. Okay, and of course you want to peel off um, the first couple of layers of the onion, especially that rubbery layer. I really don't like it, so I usually take off about like the first two layers of the onion. And next, we are going to get about three to four bulbs of garlic. Of course, I love garlic, and so the more the merrier. And so you'd want to go ahead and peel them and cut off that little root end, just because that's like really not edible. And just pop them on your baking sheet as well. And so now I'm going to drizzle all of my veggies with some extra virgin olive oil. And of course you gotta season it with some salt. And just give that a nice good mix, that way everything's nice and evenly coated with that oil and salt. Okay, now you're gonna pop this in the oven under your broiler setting, and I set my temperature to like 500 degrees. Just go as high as your oven will allow you, and just let this roast. Okay, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes at this point, and so I went ahead and pulled these out, and I'm just giving them a good toss. That way they can get nice and evenly roasted all over. You wanna develop that good char on all of your veggies. Okay, now I'm gonna pop it back in the oven still under the broiler setting for an additional 15 to 20 minutes and this is what they look like absolutely amazing and the roast just brings out all that flavor and we're just gonna let this cool down completely once your veggies are all cold of course we're just going to put all of our veggies in a food blender and then we're going to add a bundle of cilantro and i used about one fourth to half a cup give or take and first you want to season it with some salt and some pepper. And then just give it a good old blend. Okay, 
Hey, and if you notice any big chunks that got stuck to the side of your container, of course, just go in with the spatula and just scrape that down. That way, you won't have huge chunks in your salsa. And I see that one final mix. And this is what our salsa looks like. It's absolutely delicious and it's so aromatic. Okay, and so you can store your salsa however you prefer, but I like to put mine in a big old mason jar. And this huge mason jar was the perfect size for the amount of salsa that I made. And just pop a lid on it and it should keep in your fridge for about one to two weeks, but it may not last that long because that's how good this is. And there you have it, some delicious roasted tomatillo salsa. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I, as always, enjoyed making it for you. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. But until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!